guys Tayira here and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you already been here thanks for coming back so in today's video we are going to be reviewing the new Fenty Beauty snap shadows so if you want to see how I created this look using these palettes then keep on watching before we start today's video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a video and follow me on Instagram and with that being said let's jump right into the video alright you guys so the brows are done I'm priming my lids with the PBB's base in the shade number five and I'm just using my beauty blender as always well Right, guys so i have two of these snap shadows here today i have three deep neutrals and four rows i think i am going to be using the three number three palette but i decided to get two because two was for two for something at sephora so i'm just gonna open them up real quick so basically they are called snap shadows because you can get two palettes and like click them on together like so so this is snap four of the rose and this is snap three I think I am going to be using three but probably just for the sake of using both of them the fact that I have both of them I am going to probably use a little bit from the other one okay so the first shade I'm going to be grabbing is this, this one called nudie booty this is where the, the the names are you have to like turn the palette upside down to see the names it's not really in line with the shadows inside so but I'm grabbing the shade Nori Booty and I'm using my Morphe E27 brush to just apply this as my transition shade so right there I don't have a problem with the shadow but it isn't as pigmented as I would want it to be I have to like pack a whole bunch and then blend it out but I don't mind but so far it's fine it's just not as pigmented I am going to grab this shade right here in the middle shots fired and I'm going to use my M441 brush and I'm just going to use this to deepen that crease. Okay, this shade I like, like, it's nice. I like this one. I think the base that I'm using, the PBB's base, kind of like really helps with making colors show up more. So I think that is helping this out a lot. The shadows blend really, really nice, by the way. I'm going to grab back the first brush that I was using with a little bit of the first shade as always to like blend this harsh line out to make sure those two shadows are blending well together. I'm going to take a smaller brush, this is the M506 brush and I'm going to take this shade right here, it's called No Fudge Given. <laughs> these names and I'm going to just use that to deepen the outer portions of my lids just a little bit more like in all honesty the shadows are fine they blend really nice but I just feel like they're not giving me the juice that I want like I could I don't know it could be a little bit more pigmented like so but 
they are fine. The palettes are like really nice for traveling, but in terms of, I just, I think probably I just expected a little bit more spent. All right, you guys, so I think I'm just going to be sticking to one palette after all because Juvia's Place launched some mini eyeshadow palettes and I think one of them is a dupe for this number four palette. So I wanted to do a video like comparing both of them. It's either that or I'm going to exchange this one for another one of these snap shadows because based on how this is performing, I just feel like these colors are not going to show up as well as I would want it to. So I don't want to like touch it and then end up have to like return it being that I used it. So if I don't do that Juvia's Place video, which I think I am going to do because I did order the palettes, I'm going to return it. All right, so I'm going to cut my crease using my M224 brush. And I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade number five. I'm going back in with my M441 brush and I'm just going to grab back this shade right here. I'm going to use that to blend of my I'm going to do the same thing with the darker shade that I used but with the smaller brush all right so I'm not going to be setting my lids I'm just going to be grabbing this shade right here called heaven yeah, heaven scent and I'm going to be using my M213 brush and I'm just going to apply that all over my lips I think I am going to wet my brush with a little bit of setting spray just to get a better application to grab at this brush and I'm just going which is the M441 again and I'm just going to I'm not applying any product on it I'm just going to use it to blend this part off all right so I'm going to finish up the other eye off camera apply some lashes and I'll be right back so while my lash glue was drying I did prime my face with my milk hydro grip primer and for foundation, I am going to be using my L'Oreal Freshwear Foundation. I am using the shade 525. I might mix a little bit of my NARS Radiant Foundation in the shade Macau in it, just because I mix that foundation with everything, but it's not a must. So I'm going to be blending my foundation out with a Real Techniques sponge. concealer I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way in Chestnut and my L'Oreal Infallible Fullwear Concealer in 410 and as always I'm going to go in with the Too Faced first. And just for my under eyes I am going to be using the L'Oreal one. Concealer is sitting. I am going to contour my face with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. And I'm blending that out using my M439 brush by Morphe. I'm going to blend the concealer out using the same sponge that I use for my foundation.
Alright, so I'm going to set my under eyes using my Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Konafa. So before I move on to the rest of the face, I'm going to use my E36 brush and I'm going to grab these two shades at the bottom to just blend by my waterline. I'm just mixing both other shades together. some mascara and I use this shade for my it's my radio palette called radiant for my inner corner highlight I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty bronzers in the shade mocha mommy and coco naughty and as always I just mix these two shades together For blush, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil in the shade Ruby Witches. For highlights, I'm using this Becca highlighter in the shade Endless Bounce and Glow, and I just mix all of these thingies together. So before I do my lips I'm going to set my face using my Colourpop Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist so for lips I think I'm going to be doing a nude glossy lip so I'm going to use my Colourpop BFF for lip liner shade honey love and I'm going to apply this in the center of my lips for gloss I'm just going to be going in with this artist couture gloss in the shade uncensored 2.0 Okay, so I'm going to fix my hair real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so this is the finished look. Honestly, I like the palettes, but it's just not what I was expecting. The concept is nice and whatever, but the shadows, I just expected a little bit more pigment from them. Maybe because it's Fenty Beauty, I had high hopes or whatever, but I said what I said. Um, as for the number four palette, I am not sure if I'm going to return it as yet because as I said before the Juvia's face one looks like it's a dupe So I might do a side-by-side -side of both of those palettes and Then I will probably exchange it for another one or probably hold on to it knowing me. I'll probably hold on to it um, But yeah, this is it I expected more but I can work with it because as I said this one I really really liked the one I used today I liked but I just wanted more pigment I can finesse it but you know but if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one bye